Hey guys, another month has come and gone, so it's time for me to share with you my five favorite things from this month. Uh, just like last time, there's going to be a link to a blog post down in the description where I give a little bit more information and links to all of the products and uh, ideas that I mentioned here today. So here we go. Thing number one, my favorite planning supply. I got some new stickers this month from Planner Kate. I featured these in this weekly plan with me, which you can watch here. And uh, basically these are just header stickers that say to do and this week it was a whole saga to actually get these. That was all uh, in that other video, so watch that one. But basically just being able to uh, I put a header over some washi tape. I really like this aesthetic and I've been looking forward to using it and I'm really excited that I now can. So these stickers are from Planner Kate and those are going to be linked in the blog post. Thing number two is my favorite video game this month. It's called Quern Undying Thoughts. A uh, kind of pretentious name for a really cool game. This had been on my Steam wish list for a long time. I think it came out in like 2016, so it's not a new game, uh, but it recently went on sale on GOG, and so I went ahead and picked it up because it was about the best price I could have imagined, and it was totally worth it. I think it would have been worth it at full price, but I got it like 70% off, which is always a bonus. If you're a fan of like atmospheric adventure games, then you'll probably really enjoy this. It's definitely heavily inspired by the Myst franchise. There's a lot of things in there that are not ripoffs, but are definitely, they feel very similar and definitely feel inspired by a couple of the different titles in the Myst franchise. I'm a huge fan of those games and I love anything that's like this with puzzle solving and world exploration. So if that sounds like your kind of game, then if you haven't already checked this title out, then go ahead and check out the link in the blog post. Thing number three is my little daughter's favorite toy this month. Last month I told you about the Little Fisher Price tea set that she loves. Uh, this month she pulled out a very similar toy. This one's also Fisher Price and this one's a little table manners uh, play set. Super cute. She saw it in the box um, in the, the room where we kept all of her uh, birthday gifts that we hadn't opened yet and she demanded that I open it up and as I was opening the packaging she just stood in the kitchen like bouncing up and down so excited to play with it. It's just a cute little toy, a little table with little snacks and a cup and forks and knives and or forks and spoon and she is learning how to use a fork in real life and so I think this is something that's sort of reinforcing that. There's a little puzzle uh, aspect to it which she's just starting to get the hang of and she just really enjoys the music it plays and playing with the little cookies and the little apple slices and just really gets a kick out of uh, a little introduction to imaginative play. Thing number four is my favorite cleaning supply. This little guy right here, I am not super into essential oils or anything like that. I definitely um, am not even into MLMs. I get mine from Walmart, but I found the solution and it has made this whole room, the nursery, so much more livable. Um, this is a little spray that I made myself. I whipped it up. I followed a recipe that I found on a website, which I will link in my blog post. And it just has um, the Young Living Purification blend, eucalyptus and lemon oil, and some water. And whenever the area around the diaper change table here gets a little bit stinky, I just spray some of this in the air and it smells nice right away. And then it kind of neutralizes the odor. And it's been amazing the difference it's made. I'm kind of obsessed. And so every time I open this to change um, out the wet bag and put the diapers in the laundry or when we're changing the uh, trash bag to throw the poop away in the trash can, I'll spritz a few uh, spritzes of this into the air and it just makes the whole room just feel a lot less stinky and poopy and just better to hang out in generally. So definitely recommend it. Check it out in the link. And thing number five is this little corner of my house, but specifically these little bins that I got off Amazon and I will link in the blog post, of course. Previously, this was sort of our entertainment unit and we had um, the gaming consoles down on the shelf and some baskets with games and movies and stuff. Um, but since this living room area is where the baby does a lot of her play, uh, I got, went and moved the toys that had sort of been gathering in piles in the living room and I put them in these cloth bins that I got off Amazon and a couple of them, like some stuffies up here. 
and just the fact that everything now has a place and it's a little bit out of sight so in the evening I can put everything away make room for the vacuum to come in and tidy up um, and everything just looks put together before I go to bed it's just been a load off my mind and I actually feel happy in this living area when I look around instead of stressed and that has just been a lifesaver these bins are great because they're really affordable and they fit the Ikea shelf really well. Um, there's like a slight amount of give, which is perfect for pulling it in and out. They're, like I said, the price is right, so I don't worry about the baby pulling on them and leaning on them and collapsing them a little bit. And then if I don't need them, they fold up completely flat, super thin, even thinner than like the wicker baskets that we had previously. Um, and so I could just tuck it away somewhere and not have to worry about it if I don't need it but they're really great and I've used them in places even not on the shelves just for general storage all over. So there you go, five things that I really enjoyed this month. Don't forget to check out the companion blog post down below and don't forget to subscribe because I post videos twice a week and the next one on Thursday is going to be a weekly plan with me video. See you then, bye.